How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that this was filmed before Bamboo Lab's new firmware uh, update for the X1 was announced. Uh, basically, if you're not aware, uh, the X1 Carbon will be at some point getting a firmware update, which will stop third-party software or hardware accessories working with the printer. Now, it is an optional update, so you don't have to update to it, but, you know, still not a fantastic update in general. Um, people are also assuming that at some point this is going to be pushed down to the P1 series and the A1 series, which is also not great. But um, I didn't want to get on here and put this video out without just letting you guys know, because I don't want you to go buy this product not knowing that potentially if you update, you won't be able to use it. Now, all that being said, spoilers, I think it's a fantastic product and I think it definitely has its place in the market right now and there's want for it. Uh, and I definitely think it has helped Bamboo Lab sell a ton of P1 and P1Ss, uh, P1Ps and P1Ss um, due to the fact that they only have to spend an extra, what is it, 100 AU to get a screen similar to the X1 Carbon screen instead of spending an extra 1,000 plus. So just want to let you guys know that before you watch this video because I don't want you going out buying it, not knowing all of this and then potentially updating not having that um, compatibility in the future. With all that out of the way, enjoy the video. This is the Big Tree Tech Panda Touch, a touchscreen display designed to mount onto your Bamboo Lab P1 Series 3D printer, giving it a similar touchscreen as the X1 Series 3D printers. However, did you know that it's also compatible with the X1 and A1 Series 3D printers? Let's unbox this touchscreen display and talk about it. Alrighty, now that we have it out of the box, you can see that it is definitely similar in size to the X1 Carbon screen, which is fantastic. Setup of the screen is very simple. Simply turn the device on at the back of the screen, select your language, then connect it to your Wi-Fi. Once you have connected it to your Wi-Fi, you'll be displayed with the following screen. If you have an A1 like I do, then press the scan button for the printer to appear. To finish connecting the Panda Touch to your printer, you'll need to go through the settings on your printer itself to find its IP address, serial number and access code. On the A1 they can be found here, on the X1 Carbon they can be found here. and on the P1 series printers, they can be found here. Once you have input the required info, press the complete button. You have now successfully connected your Panda Touch to your 3D printer and can now control it directly from the screen, similarly to using the screen on the X1 Carbon. You can also add other printers, and if you have multiple of the same model, then this is where the product really shines. Unfortunately, I do not have multiple of the same printers, so I cannot demonstrate this feature to you, but basically you set up one printer as the master printer, then all your other printers are what they call slave printers. Essentially, every command you send to the master printer from the Panda Touch will then also be sent simultaneously to the slave printers. It is a fantastic device and feature for print farm owners. Now I have played around with having this connected to my A1 and it has been great. However, the A1 already has a fantastic screen. So I mainly used it on a dock next to my PC in another room for remotely sending prints and controlling the A1. To fully utilize this device, you'd either need multiple A1s or a P1 series printer. 
And since Big Tree Tech generously sent this out to me free of charge for testing and for providing feedback, I thought I'd keep the generosity train going and send this over to a friend of mine who recently purchased a P1S to use with his 3D printer. So let's go set up on his P1S and mount it on the printer as designed. Overall, I think that this is a fantastic product that solves the big issue many people have with the P1 series printers. The screen is very responsive, can be taken off the mount and moved around due to its internal battery, and it's just a fantastic solution for anyone who either A, runs a print farm of multiple Bamboo Lab printers and wants to control them all with one device, or B, wanted a P1 series printer but was hesitant to buy it as they wanted a touchscreen display similar to the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe, let me know your thoughts on the Panda Touch in the comments down below and if you're interested in getting one, I'll also have a link down there as well. Uh, welcome to the new year of 2025, I hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas and happy new year and as always, happy printing. <laughs>